Hey guys, just a heads up as to what's going on. The first week of STEM challenge is uh, coming to a close. So you guys should have completed the worksheet and word search all here on slide five. Let's see if I can highlight this for you. This one right here and this one right here. They should look something like this. It loads up. There it is. All these definitions and a word search should look something like this as it loads up. There we go. So again, I said you could print it if you want to print it. If you wanted to just highlight, that's fine too. But we're just getting used to using the terms. That is going to be due by the end of Thursday. Okay, so that is due by the end of Thursday. Let's get back to this. And we're working on week two. So if you are done and you are an overachiever, uh, we're looking at slides six and seven. We're approaching week two. I'm going to ask you to watch the following videos, okay? The videos are here. Just kind of go through them. Um, no note-taking needed, just becoming more and more uh, comfortable with what's going on when we come to terms. And then week two continued, you're going to see we have another worksheet, but this one... It's much more complicated, okay? So that one will be what you click when you're ready to get started. It's going to look like this. And your job will be to then go through, watch the videos, and uh, answer the questions. You will then, down at the bottom of this page, label what force is going this way, what force is going up, what force is going down, what force is dragging behind. Lift is five, thrust, it goes up to seven. So that will be where you're looking to uh, now place each of the forces in the right spot. This is getting ourselves in a position in which we are ready to start creating our own airplanes. Okay, so that is week two. Um, that is if you are done with week one, but week one will be due Thursday. Week two will not start till next Tuesday, but if you are ahead of the game, you want to get some work done, uh, it's right there for you. Okay. So if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Thank you.